Welcome to the third tutorial for Scripture Notes Mobile Edition. We have just added highlighting and the rest of the toolbar that's in the web app. And so let me just click into the library at the bottom. I'll go to New Testament, Romans chapter 13. And in this, as I'm scanning these verses, I'm just going to look at verse 2. Now, if I touch the screen on a verse, you can see that it kind of fades out. And then I can drag. And the reason it fades out is because if I touch it and release it, that's how you access this toolbar. So to select a verse, you touch and release. Otherwise, you would touch and drag to move the verses up or down. So from here, I can look at the word ordinance in this verse, and I'll just press on it and release. That selects the word. If I use those green drag points, you can see that as I drag around, it selects a bigger range, and I have a little zoom window that pops up to show me exactly where I'm going to drop that point. And that works on both of those drag points. Now, for just one word, if I select that one word, I can use the top toolbar, and you can see there's three items there. The 1828 will bring up Webster's Dictionary with its awesome definitions, and you can see one of the great things about Webster being quite the scriptorian is he included definition examples in the Bible. And so you can see here there's a few references to scriptures in the Bible that uh, go along with the various meanings of this word. The second option you have is a thesaurus. So if you go into that, you can see other words with a similar meaning to ordinance and get ideas for things you might want to search for in the scriptures. And that's a powerful way to use that tool to find other verses that have similar meanings. Go back, and now the etymology dictionary shows you, this says 27 entries found, that this would go through like the history of the word. So if you wanted to see how the word moved through time and changed, and maybe also get some insight into other things you can search for in the scriptures, that tool is available as well. And then, of course, the bottom row allows you to bold, italicize, underline, double underline, change the font color, change the highlight color, and then that last button, TX, is to clear the text. So if I wanted to bold this and then highlight it in yellow, that's how I would do it. And then I just touched off to uh, unselect what I had selected so I could see the markup. When I select text, it's going to add a little bit of a, a coloration there so I can see what I've selected. That makes that kind of look green for resisteth the ordinance. But if I touch off of that, you can see what I actually colored it, and that removes the selection uh, range there. Now, to get back to the verses, I just touch the X at the bottom, and then the markup transfers right back into my scriptures. And that's how you use these latest features that we've added to the mobile app.